If you only were going to ask the builder four key questions before you sign a contract and give them money, these are the four questions I would highly recommend that you ask and make sure that you're crystal clear on that before you make that commitment. If uh, this is our first time hanging out, my name is Josh Rogers. I'm a real estate agent with eXp here in North St. Johns County. My real estate team and I help the most amount of families just like yourself find, build, and buy new construction. We love what we do. We're just regular, normal people, but we have an incredible amount of knowledge and experience to make sure you're taken care of and uh, you don't have any blind spots or make any major mistakes. So my hope is we'll be able to connect. Most families just send us a text or call me. The information is below and I'm looking forward to finding out what your goals are and helping you and your family achieve those goals together. So let's, uh, let's sit down. It's about, to get, it's about to get real. Key four questions to ask a builder before you sign a contract. First, First, in this market, ask about long-term interest rate locks, okay? Because it may take 12 to 18 months to build a home from start to finish. And depending on what rates are right now, there's no guarantee that those rates will be the same 18 months from now. So if the builder has options for you to lock in the rate now, that way your payments don't change, wonderful. We just, we just heard of a story where a family signed a contract 18 months ago and rates changed so much since then, their, their monthly payment jumped a lot. And there was some, some sticker shock with that. The second question I would ask every builder before you sign the contract is in the contract, does it allow the builder to raise the price of the home after you've signed the contract? That happened about two years ago, and that was really a, a, um, a painful experience for some families that weren't aware of that. And that was a slightly different market, but you'll wanna make sure that you're crystal clear on if the builder has the right to raise the price of the home after you've signed the contract. I know it sounds crazy, right? But it's a thing. The third question I would ask the builder before you sign the paperwork is if you back up to nature preserve or conservation or green space, whatever they wanna label it, make sure you get clear on who owns that land. And you'd want that in an email. You would want to verify that information some way because I've seen this happen. You know, when you buy a lot and it backs up to trees right now, it's just dirt. It's beautiful and you're like, oh, it's gonna be so, quiet and private but then over the course of 12 to 18 months and your home is being built it's developed like holy cow lo and behold the the community didn't own it and maybe maybe a different company did a different owner and all the trees were knocked down and it turned into like a storage unit or a highway is going to be built behind that so that's incredibly important and the fourth question that i would ask builders before you sign the contract is under what circumstances uh, can you no longer be entitled to receiving your t deposit back? Um, because, I mean, some of these builders are requiring 10, 20% down payment as a deposit that they're gonna hold over the course of 18 months. And, you know, if something goes sideways, that's a lot of money. It could be $100,000, $150,000 that you just kiss goodbye. And so find out under what circumstances you would be entitled to get that deposit back. And what you will find is there's not very many of those circumstances. So before you make a decision, you need to be completely convinced and committed to buying that house or else you'll lose that money. So those are the four questions. If you have other questions that you think are critically important in addition to these four, comment below, let me know. And then, like I said, my hope is that we're able to, to do this with you uh, and to kind of be your navigator, make sure you don't make any wrong, majorly wrong decisions and mistakes along the process. Most families, just like yourself, reach out to us. We love answering questions and helping them through the process. So just send us a text, give us a phone call. I'll see you in the next video.